Good afternoon, everybody. How are you all? How's everyone going? How are we going if, uh, if we've just sent Kitty back to school today? How awesome is that, yeah? Oh, I'm, I'm so excited that the kids are back and they are so excited that they're back as well. So as you're jumping in, why don't you say a quick hello, jump into the comments, quick hello, and what are you up to today? What are you doing? Are you doing something for yourself? Have you got something going on for yourself today? If you're watching the replay, have you got something going on for yourself today? What's happening, hey? So we give everyone just a couple of minutes just to jump on in, see where everyone's at, see what's happening. Um, groups. It's a nice day out there today too, actually. Don't mind me. All right. 12 o'clock, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so a little bit of a chat about some post-COVID changes to group fitness. Now, while most of this will apply to TPPT, um, it is, I'm design, I've designed this to be a little bit general as well, so that if you did want to go back to another service, that you might sort of have a bit more of an understanding of what's been happening in our industry and what changes that we've had to make within our industry as well. So throughout this, we're going to look at sort of what you need to do before the class as far as booking in goes, you know, what do you do on the morning before you arrive, actually arriving to the class, once you're in the class and then after the class as well, because there are changes at every single one of those stages. So like I said, jump on in, say hello as you're jumping in, shoot me any questions that you might have. Uh, I'll be checking over to that occasionally to get us through this. All right, so actually booking into the class, you guys know how to do that and we do that pretty well anyway, uh, but it's more important now than ever before, uh, particularly because gathering sizes will change. I don't know what they're going to be yet. Word on the street is that we'll be looking forward to groups of 10, but exactly when that's going to happen, I'm not, not entirely sure just yet. I want to say next Monday, but who knows? Who knows at this stage? So I don't, I don't really know any more than anyone else in regards to that. The other reason that we have booking in as an important step now is because I need to be able to provide contact tracing data to the powers that be, and I'm expected to produce that within the hour. So by having all of your details in the PT Minder database, that allows me to be able to do that pretty quickly and very efficiently uh, with all the detail that they need. Children will need to book in as they did in that five week period that we had back between lockdowns, because at this stage they will form part of our gathering size. So we do need once again to book those in. Don't forget, I've got the kids package, which is a dollar for 12 months, and that's just how you can book the children into that one. Um, and I've got commitment down there. Because it's time for you to make a commitment back to yourself, isn't it? We've sort of been on hold for over six months now and probably not doing a huge amount for ourselves at home and at work and whatnot because it's all just been at home, hasn't it, for most of us. So now it's time to make the commitment to yourself. And I'm, I'll be so excited to see all of those emails come back in to say that you've booked into classes. Um, at this stage, if it is a group of 10, a gathering size of 10, I'm probably only going to be able to offer the 5.30 a.m. dawn truth link if the kids are included in that, um, in that gathering size. However, I have got a few other things that I might be able to offer if we can't do more than, group, more than 10 per group for the daytime. So just, just hold tight on that one. 
Um, and at this stage, you will need to live within five kilometres of our venue to be able to travel to TPPT sessions. Um, so yeah, that's that's all that I would really like to say on booking in. But please do jump in if you have any questions about how all of that is going to work once we do get back into things. I'll move along though. So before you arrive, so this is, you know, in the couple of days before your first class, once again, I'll have a Google form for you to fill out. And that's just to say that you do understand the expectations and the COVID safe behaviour and um, all of those good things. If you returned back to our sessions in that last five week block, you'll know the form, but I will need you to fill a new one out. Um, I'm also going to ask everybody, including the TPPT at Home Tribe, to fill out a new health form because it has been over six months since I've seen you guys face to face properly. So we'll get new health forms filled in on that one as well. Uh, membership level is written there because if you are doing TPPT at home, you just need to let me know which membership level you'd like to switch back over to if you're going to do one or the other or both. So there's a few options that I'll have. I'll have more information on that for you. Please don't panic. Don't think that you need to look somewhere for it now. That information will all come once I know what reopening I've got. Um, but just making sure that you do, you have indicated to me which membership level you'd like to take. Uh, we will have a complete COVID safe plan. So that is a requirement, an industry requirement for me reopening is to have that COVID safe plan. And it goes both ways. So it's what I can provide for you, but then it's also what you will do as a member of TPPT as well. Um, of course, you know the drill. It's about being symptom free. It's about having no contact with positive cases. It's, it's all the stuff that's really been drummed into us over the past six months anyway. But if you do have any questions about that, please do shout out. Either ask them here in the comments or if you want to shoot me a private message, please feel free to do that as well. Um, but what if, what if you do have symptoms yourself? So you would, of course, need to go and get tested. What if you find out that you were in close contact with a positive case? What if you are a positive case? So the first one's there. What if you've just had contact with a positive case? Well, of course, then the COVID safe plan is that you isolate for two weeks. Now, with that, if you are a member of TPPT at home and you need to isolate simply because you've been in contact with a case, then you will have two weeks um, added to your membership. So uh, at, if you've returned, if you've returned to face-to-face -to -face sessions and you find out that you've been in contact with a positive case and you're a TPPT at home member, I'll add two weeks to that membership for you because, of course, you'll need to stay home and you'll need to stay away from our face-to-face -face sessions. If you have simply just got a face-to-face -face membership, then you'll have two weeks added to that membership for you. So there are lots of caveats and lots of um, allowances for any contact with uh, positive cases. And the last thing I want to do is to leave you guys sort of in the lurch or out of pocket or inconvenienced or anything like that. So please do just be rest assured that I have got allowances for just about every case um, and every scenario. And of course, just open communication for all of that is going to go a long way to allowing us to have a successful reopening of TPPT. So any questions on that, please feel free to ask. Please do also get in contact via email or private message if you want to. Okay, arriving to the class. So this is actually the day of the class. It is an industry requirement that you and I wear our masks to and from the class, unless of course you have a lawful reason for not wearing a class, not wearing a mask. Now, 
as a business owner providing a service within the Melbourne metropolitan area, the fines for me are really large for non-compliance to COVID safe practice. So I do just ask that you do respect that we do need to wear masks to and from the class. Uh, there's an, an allowance for you to take those masks off once you're actually in the class and exerting yourself. So please don't worry too much about that. Um, if you did attend a class in our five week reopening earlier, you will know that we just keep our own thing. So drink bottle, phone, bag, whatever you've got with you at your mat in your space. And that just helps us to maintain physical distancing throughout the class uh, so that we're not all going to and from the one spot to get drink bottles and whatnot. So when you do arrive, you'll just grab your space, pop your mat down and put your things with your mat. Pretty simple there. We do need to make sure we're maintaining physical distancing throughout the class. And of course that is also when we're arriving and chatting to each other before class. So maintaining that physical distancing. And the toilets, up to you whether you use the public toilets or not, but they will be open when we're back at the class. And I do have soap that you can take in and out of the toilets with you. And obviously all the hand sanitizer and everything that you would like to use after you do go to the toilet. So that's sort of what things will look like, I guess, when you are arriving to the class. Once we're actually in the class and everything's going and we're all exercising, we do still need to maintain that physical distancing at all times. So 1.5 metres away from each other. Of course, that's not, you know, it's not always practical, but just as much as it's practical as possible for me, please. With our equipment, if I do bring equipment to class, please only use your equipment. Uh, we had a few instances during our five-week reopening last time where people were swapping equipment throughout the class and I really need to ask you to respect not to do that because that does go against the COVID safe plan. So we need to keep that in mind, please. Physical distancing during breaks and just making sure that you're you know, trying to stay to your own area as much as possible. Um, masks can come off during class once you feel that you're exerting yourself enough. So if, if you're starting to feel out of breath, which we often do during exercise, it is perfectly reasonable to take off your mask during that time. So please know that you, you, know, you can take that mask off if you need to. I just realised my microphone completely dropped down. So I hope you guys have been able to hear me properly during this one. And lucky last... Show the love. We still want to encourage each other. We still want to, you know, do our virtual air high fives and our, you know, give give out cheers to each other. And, you know, that's part of the, I guess, benefit. And one of the great things about doing group exercise is that you are all there together. And so we do want to continue to share the love. We're not just, you know, confined to our little space and we can't talk to each other. We want to still encourage each other along the way also. All right, moving along, unless there are any questions, which I can see there's not at this stage, but I'll check back in and uh, see if there's any to answer for you there. Sorry, my bad. There was a comment, but I just needed to refresh the page. So Ash, I'll have a I'll private message you about that one. Ash has asked about the masks probably before I covered it off. So Ash, I hope that I've covered off masks during class. If you're physically exerting can come off, but once you're not physically exerting, so before and after, that's when masks come or need to be back on. And of course, you're working in our um, health industry. So if you'd prefer to do online, I do have an online TPPT at home program happening, which you might find more preferable. Um, and jump onto my website t, uh, slash tribe to find out more info about that one. But I'll private message you all of that as well. Okay, team, 
I will move on after the class. So we're done. We're dusted. Yeah. Packing up, leave that to me. You guys don't have to do any packing up. And the reason for that is we don't want to be double handling extra equipment. Um, and we don't also want to be gathering around the boot of my car all together because that's, we wouldn't be practicing physical distancing there either. So you guys know, like normally I love when you help me pack up and I love when the kids help and all of that good stuff. But for the moment, when we do reopen, leave all that packing up to me. You can just look after your own things. Masks will need to be put back on as soon as you do finish the class. And again, that's, that's, part of being a business provider in Melbourne metropolitan or metropolitan Melbourne, I do need to ask you to do that to maintain my COVID safe compliance. Um, by all means, feel free to hang around after the class, but do just understand and respect that in hanging around after the class, you are still representing TPPT. And so if you're not physically distancing or you're not doing those things, it is possible that you will be recognised as a member of TPPT and, you know, a passerby may feel the need to contact Victoria Police and suggest that TPPT isn't operating under COVID safe conditions. So please just do keep that in mind that while you're still hanging around after class, you are still representing my business as well. Um, and of course, spread the love. Share our amazing classes on social media. Share your workout experience on social media. Share how, you know, professional and, you know, hygienic and safe our classes are because there is the chance that there will be some people out in the community who aren't aware how safe attending a group fitness class can actually be. They may be feeling a little apprehensive about it. And so the more we can spread the message that we are safe and that it is reasonable to attend our classes the more members of the community we will get moving and hopefully the more members of the community we would get coming to TPPT of course so team I'm going to check one last time to see if there's any other questions and it's I can see there's not and so that's okay but I'll check in on the replay and just see if anyone's got any questions like I said please do reach out privately if you've got a question you're not sure about or, uh, you know, something that I didn't cover off properly. And I'll do my best to get back to you on those ones. At this stage, I'm still crossing my fingers and my toes for a reopening on the 19th of October. However, that is yet to be confirmed. And so I won't be opening up the booking system or doing any of that until that is confirmed um, and that's where everything stands at the moment please don't forget also that I have got a pre-release for my six-week stronger for yourself program that could be a really good one for the Christmas break to keep you moving over the Christmas break it's 30 workout videos it's a workout planner it's an exercise glossary um, there's holistic health habits for you within that as well and it would be perfect to keep you moving either for you know six weeks now if you're choosing not to come back to face to face or six weeks over Christmas as we have a little bit of a break over the Christmas period Period. All right, team, thank you so much for joining me for another one of our Monday musings. As I said, I like putting these together and please do share the love for anyone who you think might need to see these. All right, have a really great Monday. If you've got kids at school, <laughs> I hope you're enjoying the day to yourself. All right, thank you so much, team. Have a great day.